what you can imagine. Your God, he he can do more than that. But the problem is, he said, according to the power that worketh in you. As a child of God, remember, there's a power in you. But the devil wants to mess your mind up. To make you feel that you are a failure in life. I come to let somebody know today that God is about to guarantee your victory. God is about to cause you to stand up again. God is about to cause you to shine again. God is about to cause you to enjoy your life again. Oh, you have been thinking all kinds of stuff. But God said tonight, I give you a new mind. God said after tonight, you will possess your possession. Say yes. I will do unto you whatever I hear you say. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying in my ears? Whatever I hear you say. It means, ladies and gentlemen, that the problem with us is that we keep saying the wrong stuff. We keep talking the wrong talk. I know, listen to me, I know as a, this, as a child of God, the devil will always come to crowd you. He will come to bombard you. But the Bible says that when they come in one way, they shall flee before you in several ways. He said, My God, he said, My God, he said, When they come, he said, The Spirit of God will raise a standard. Listen, listen. Be very careful again how you come into disagreement with God. I told you, you can disagree with man. Even your boss at your place of work. Even your children. But please, stop disagreeing with God. You have to learn that despite all the pressure of life, God has a final say. Many times, you are at the brink of your breakthrough. And there's so much of pressure on you. That will cause you to change your confession of faith. Many of you, you are close to your victory and you are about to walk out. God says, tonight, believe his word. What God has said to you 20 years ago, it, 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 it still has the efficacy. It has the power to come to pass today. Because he's the same God yesterday. Today, and if it's the same God, He's going to perform it for you. Somebody give God some praise here. I don't. Know, let me just give you number two. Number, number one, remember, I says never think or speak negatively about yourself that puts you in disagreement with God. Many times, again, I said to, to you, stop disagreeing with God. Number two, meditate on your God-giving strengths and learn to encourage yourself. For much of the time, nobody has will. Right? Meditate on your God-giving strengths. Oh. And learn to encourage yourself. In the Lord. Learn to encourage yourself. Oh, I'm going to just hit you this and we'll go. For much of the time, somebody keep that phone dead. Silence that phone or you throw it away. Encourage yourself. For much of the time, nobody has will. Now listen and listen to me good. We all are 
are made different. We all are shaped different. We all don't look alike. We don't talk alike. We, miss, we all have our own lane. Oh Lord, help me. Slap your neighbor say, stay in your lane. Oh, stay in your lane. Oh, I'm not coming to your lane. I know what God has called me to do. Oh, stay in your lane. It's not about competition. It's about completion. Lift your hand and shout, Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, say they must stay in your lane. I say, stay in your lane. Understand your strength. Meditate on your strength. Up your number, say, meditate on your strength. Meditate on your strength. You see what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. You can never get victory when you dwell so much on the negative part of your life. Ah, you must understand there's a strength in you. Ah, you may be feeling weak and tired, but God has given you an inner strength that if you tap in into that power, you will see a change in your life. Stand to your feet and say, I have it. Oh, oh stop your number say, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Meditate on your God giving strength. Everybody right now, you have a place in your life. I told them in Babis this morning, if you are selling Puri, stay in your Puri line. Ah, hallelujah. If you are selling sugar cane, stay in your sugar. Oh, a time is coming. You will start to export Puri to America. Oh, oh, a time is coming. You start to export sugar cane to America. Because why? There's somebody here that God said, do not allow the devil to maximize your strength. Oh Lord, can I preach this tonight? Yeah. Many of you today, right now, oh, you concentrate too much on your past, on the things that are keeping you down. You gotta look more in see you, look into your thing, look into your strength, and tell yourself, even though my sister didn't make it, my father didn't make it, my mother didn't make it, oh, with Jesus, oh my soul, I can do all things, do Christ, that strengthens me, stand to your feet and say yes! I'm trying not to hurt myself tonight. I came to deliver a word for somebody here. It's time for you to maximize your strength. Oh, don't tell yourself I'm weak. Oh, I can't do it. I'm tired. Look at me now. Everybody pass me back. The devil is a liar. God says meditate on your God-given strength. You see, after meditation, you will learn how to encourage yourself. Oh, you'll be surprised. After you just meditating, you'll see, devil will send people around you just to discourage you, just to make you feel you will never make it in life. I come to tell somebody, it's time for you to encourage yourself in the Lord. Doesn't matter who said about you, tell yourself that you are more than conqueror to Christ that strengthens you. I don't know who I came here for, but I hear God say, it's time for you to walk away from some people and tell them bah because for now it's me and God alone start your faith and say yeah <laughs> slap your number say stay your lane stay your lane stay your lane stay in your lane stop coming to my lane you will get accident 
I say, stop coming, my leg. You will get accident. You will break your foot. Oh, you will lose your focus. Stay in your lane. If you are a worshiper, worship. Oh, if you are usher, do your work. Stay in your land oh oh help me father I don't know what I came here for but the devil is a liar it is time for somebody to get back themselves oh let me say to you nobody will encourage you than you there are some people they will never say nothing good about me do you think I don't know by now? Do you think I'm stupid? Do I look like a foolish man? By now I know that not everybody we appreciate what I'm doing. So sometimes I have to encourage myself. Ah, you see, understand this. If you don't understand where you are, you'll never be able to appreciate where you're going. 